This morning, a possible major breakthrough in the treatment of infertility. Scientists writing in the journal Nature say they've created artificial sperm and eggs. Our medical correspondent, Dr. Jennifer Ashton, is here with more. Good morning, Good Jen. Good morning, Maggie. So these were scientists out of Stanford University That's in California. Right. How did they create sperm and eggs in a lab? What they did is they took unused embryonic stem cells, and stem cells are cells that are have the potential to grow into anything, as we know, because we hear about it in all kinds of therapeutic uses. And then they, they put them in a lab gave them some special cocktail of nutrients, proteins, some chemicals, and coaxed them into developing to early sperm and early eggs. Now, the sperm were not perfect. They had little short tails, and the eggs were much earlier than those that could actually be fertilized, but they are hailing this as a major breakthrough because it was really the first time that stem cells were used to achieve this purpose. They're taking stem cells from embryos that were discarded, exactly. not used for fertility treatments, so this will raise ethical questions for sure. Absolutely. And of course, there are biologic questions here because this is really the first time that this advance has been able to be done. And it will lend a lot more information, not only into the treatment of fertility problems, but also just overall human development. Mm -hmm. But of course, there are moral and ethical issues that are sure to be causing quite a commotion. How could this lead to major breakthroughs in fertility treatments? Well, you know, Maggie, one in six couples suffer from infertility. And while there are a lot of causes ranging from infections like STDs to problems with anatomy, a large percentage of infertile couples are infertile because there are actual problems with either the sperm and or the eggs. So potentially this is a, a major therapeutic breakthrough with a lot of issues attached, of course. I, is that far off? Is that something that could happen soon? It's a long ways long off. Way now off. again, this is some, just because something is done in a lab means, of course, it could be years, if not decades, till it could be brought to an actual patient. This is out there, but I'm just curious. If you take the stem cells from a female embryo, you get an egg. If you take the stem cells from a male embryo and make a sperm, babies that come from those uh, sperm and eggs will be the biological children of that embryo? That's correct. So again, you know, the big thing here is that in order to create an egg, right now you need female DNA, and with a sperm you need male DNA. So again, in the future, this is gonna be very complicated, but there's the potential to develop an egg from a man's DNA, mm. and that's what they're gonna be looking at. Very interesting, Jen. Dr. Jennifer Ashton, thank you, you very much.